Hi. The previous part we have uploaded in the member series. Click on cloud kernel member. Gain access to all of the important questions. If you go for cloud ninja membership, you gain access to all advanced certification content plus whatever this guy has access to. So up to you if you have less money and you are looking for entry level and intermediate certifications, this certification to uh, this membership should be good. If you want advanced certification, AI contents, and etc., then a cloud ninja would be good. Cloud Ninja can by default access everything that Cloud Kernel can access, but it is not true vice versa. So there are thousand plus videos on this channel. Are all of them relevant? Yes. Even if some videos are two years or three years old, they are still relevant practice uh, as many questions you can. Okay. And this channel we Cover AWS, Azure, and GCP. These three cloud products are different. Why not Alibaba Cloud or Salesforce Cloud or IBM Cloud, etc.? Because those are not popular. If you are starting a cloud journey, this is good. So, if you are new to the cloud world, these videos will help you. We are explaining as if a layman is watching these videos so don't worry about what training should i go through before i watch these series uh, you don't have to go through any training if you are from a it field you will be easily able to understand these videos so which cloud computing model includes on premises and cloud so now people who are new to cloud, they think, uh, where does on-premises come into play? Why? When we are going full Monty in cloud, why on-premises is required? So see earlier when around 2019, all companies were saying, move everything to cloud. Okay, 2019 onwards, people were saying, please move everything to cloud. But later on, they discovered people who were the first movers in the cloud environment. They discovered that um, the cost of ownership or the cost of running these things on cloud is very high. Even though you feel it is OPEX, but it's like buying a car and renting Uber. If you just want to rent a Uber for one hour a day, it is still cheaper than buying a car. But if you are using it for 12 hours a day, then buying a car is uh, relatively cheaper. So that is your comparison between on-premises and Azure or cloud. So when we have both, so 2023 onwards, this concept became very popular that Let's have both some applications in on premises, some applications in cloud, so that we can use the best of both the worlds. Like certain applications like BI, where uh, you may know that okay, these are being used by uh, not VIP level or C suit level people, even if there is slight delay, it is still okay. These are not on demand reports. They may be scheduled reports. So continue being on premises. That way you can save the money. You already have that infrastructure, you are making use of that. So here this is called hybrid because you are making use of on premises and cloud both. So can you do hybrid in AWS or is it only Azure feature? No, you can do in any cloud. AWS, Azure, GCP. Alibaba, IBM Cloud, Salesforce Cloud. <coughs> okay, so which cloud computing uh, model includes? Uh, okay, so this one we know it is hybrid is the answer. The auto scaling is an example of what? Auto scaling is an example of elasticity. You have one VM for 100 users, for 1000 users. You have 
multiple VMs. Okay. Now, the moment thousand users logged in, this scale up should happen automatically. The moment thousand users have gone, you just have hundred users, or like uh, nine hundred have gone. So it should scale down back to one VM. That is called elasticity, just like the elastic of your undergarments. You can read it here. We have also explained why not agility. Agility, it is about, uh, see, it is a auto scaling is a specific mechanism that supports agility, but agility is ability to respond quickly to change. For last three months, you are getting per month 30 agile points of work. Fourth month, you get 100 agile points of work. For these 30 agile points, you had three resources. Okay. Now, for these 100 to cater 100, you should add say 10 resources. You should have 10 resources. So, you will have to add seven more. So, now if you go to the resource management teams they would say we don't have resources or we don't have seven we just have two take two now remaining we will give uh, next month or in two months so that is not agility okay every software development company wants to be in a scenario where they can deploy resources and grab projects very fast so that is called agility geo distribution is about regional you can have resources deployed in multiple regions uh, data centers are there in multiple regions you can have it deployed there and this predictability you can read so elasticity is our final answer so dash supports synchronization between on premises and azure storage So Azure files do that. It is fully managed file share and it uses SMB protocol. Okay. So you can synchronize your on premises file share and Azure. Okay, blob storage, why this is not correct? It is not designed for file share. It is an object storage, not a file storage. Queue storage, it is a message storage, not a file storage. Table storage, it is a NoSQL service for storing structured data. It will not do file storage or sync. So, this would be our final answer. So this one is easy because uh, the other services they are not born for that purpose it is like ferrari you have ferrari for high speed and you have honda civic for just a, like a family car okay so if ferrari is not born to be a family car that is why it does not have six seats or seven seats it is meant for speed or it is meant to flash your wealth it has real no significance usage what will you do with that speed on normal roads uh, because if you cross 100 mile or even 70 80 mile the police would issue tickets so what's the use of having such high speed cars unless you are a formula one racer so this next question which term tells you that there is a ability to increase compute capacity of a virtual machine how by just adding memory or by just adding cpus okay so this is not about elasticity alone it is about elasticity when we spawn VMs in a way, but 
you have to choose between vertical scaling and horizontal scaling. So you have one virtual machine. Okay, you have one car. This car itself, you want to make it a sports car. So you may go for a engine upgrade. You may use better engine oil. You may change the tires. You may add racing tires. You may add neon boosters. But whatever you have to do, you have to do in that car itself. Like you have a small piece of land. You create first. You create ground floor. Your grandfather was staying there. Then your father created first floor also. Your grandfather stays on the ground floor, and your father and you, your family stays first floor. Then you got married. You created second floor. What is this? You are not buying any new piece of land. This is ground plus one plus two. This is called vertical scaling. You are just having one virtual machine. You are keeping. You are adding floors like adding memory, adding CPU. You are just adding floors. This is called vertical scaling. In cities like Mumbai, Shanghai, New York, land is uh, scarce, so it is very costly. So people scale up. You will see hundred floor apartments, one fifty floor apartments. Similarly, in the cloud world, this process is called horizontal uh, vertical scaling. Horizontal scaling would be you have one VM, you add one more. So it's like you have one piece of land, you buy one more piece of land, you buy one more piece of land. So that is called horizontal scaling. So this is our final answer. And here we have documented the explanation why why not. Agility, horizontal scaling, or elasticity. See what are the two benefits of cloud computing? We just want benefits. See, A is one benefit. Uh, rapid provisioning. That means in the cloud world, see, suppose I want to create a VM, I don't have to worry about buying a hardware. Buying a, a compute and everything, I just spawn it on the cloud, so it gives me rapid provisioning of resources. Simple. B says has increased administrative complexity. No, cloud decreases the administrative complexity. It does not increases. So B is incorrect. C says it has the same configuration options at all devices. No. See on premises, you may have small configuration. Now you decided that I want to buy more hardware. I want high performance. So instead of buying more hardware, you are saying, "Boss, I will take it. I will cloudize. I will go to Azure and have more capacity, three times, four times capacity, and see if I am getting good performance. Does it lead to more business? So that." So it does not have same configuration. You can do small, you can do big also. D says, see, we have to choose here correct answers to benefit side. So D says, uh, your whatever capex expenses were there, it shifts to opex. Yes. See, on premises, most of your expenses are capex, except electric bill and salary of the admin people. That is opex because you are paying per month. Whatever the electricity bill comes, but uh, your OPEX in cloud, you don't buy a hardware. In on-premises, you have to buy hardware, network, etc. Upfront, all the capital expenses you have to pay. But in cloud, you just pay for what you use. So that is why this is also a benefit of cloud. So our answers would be A and D: enable rapid provisioning of resources and Shifts capex to opex, and this is the explanation we have documented. If you want to know why other options are incorrect, read this piece. And if you want to know why these options are correct, read this piece.
if you have not yet subscribed do so there are thousand plus videos all are relevant even if they are two years or three years old they are all relevant practice as many questions as possible we are all about helping you with certifications as your gcp and aws and there are a lot of questions in the members area for a very small premium click the join channel on this channel you click join and become a cloud kernel member or a cloud ninja member <coughs> cloud ninja so all advanced content you will get here all entry level and intermediate certification content you will get as a kernel membership so up to you ninja will have access to whatever kernel also has kernel will have will not have access to what ninja has okay ninja is a slightly more money it requires but then uh, it is still cheaper compared to the information we are sharing and explaining so the previous parts we have uploaded in the members area do go through them we have explained a lot of questions there and concepts so each question has four options so literally through each question we are explaining four different concepts you don't require any training as such these videos themselves are self explanatory you will understand in the process but you have to listen to it if you are uh, going on a tube train or you have are traveling just plug this playlist and keep listening because that will be effective utilization of your travel time also and if you don't understand my accent i have uh, this this video has subtitles but still if it is difficult see i am trying to speak slowly but still if it is difficult uh, you can in the video you can see 1x 2x 0.5x you can slow or if you are finding it boring you can you want me to move faster you can do 1.25x that way uh, that provision is there on youtube and the settings you can go and change it as per your comfort so see you in the next part